Now, I'm not a huge Breaking Bad fan. <laughs> but I have noticed some things over the past few years, uh, online, Twitter, places like that, that point out some unusual things that not a lot of people actually know about Breaking Bad. So right now, today in this video, uh, you know what, why is my background in all my videos always so freaking shit? I, maybe I can cover this one up. What, does that help? No. <laughs> Okay, so uh, let's forget about the background for now. I'm going to be counting down the top 10 or maybe 9 or 8 things, I don't really know yet, that you probably don't know about The Walking Dead. The first and probably the most well-known thing you might know about this is that Jesse, one of the main characters in Breaking Bad, was supposed to die in season 1. Yes, apparently Jesse was just a gateway drug for Walt, and wasn't actually supposed to continue until the end of season 1. Co creator Vince Gilligan, however, said that Aaron's performance was so good that they decided to keep him until the very end. Number 2 is that Breaking Bad is actually coquialism that means to go astray. You know how we sometimes say that we've reached breaking point? Well, once that you go beyond that, we say that you've gone off the rails. But in American Southwest, it is called, you guessed it, Breaking Bad. Makes sense now, eh? Number three is that the show was actually turned down by four major networks when it first came on air. It's hard to believe that one of the biggest TV shows in years almost didn't make it to air, but it was rejected by HBO, who could have actually done a pretty good job with it, Showtime, TNT, and FX. Number four is that the show actually does have a hidden chemist within. Walt's boss at the car wash is played by a first time actor who actually has a PhD in chemistry, Bogdan, the aggressive, eyebrow heavy car wash owner who we learned to dislike in season one, is played by Marius Stan, a practicing chemist with a PhD. And Breaking Bad was actually his very first acting gig. Moving on to number five is the cast's personal favorite episode. Season two, episode 12, Phoenix. This episode, you'll remember Jesse's girlfriend Jane choked to death while Walt watched and did nothing. For Cranston, this was a major turning point for the character, and he actually said it was a traumatizing experience to perform too. Coming in at number six, or seven, or five, I can't remember, I've completely lost count. <laughs> the meth in the show is actually blue rock candy, which is why you'll see Aaron Paul giving away big bags of the stuff on TV. No, he's, he's not giving blue meth to kids. Guys, come on. Coming in at number 86, or something, Walt's money is actually buried in, you guessed it, a movie studio. In the later stages of season 5, Walt buries his money somewhere in the desert and uses a GPS tracker to find them, the number on his lottery ticket. However, these numbers do not point to some random desert location where millions of dollars are stored underground. In fact, it actually leads to 560 University Boulevard, Albuquerque, New Mexico, otherwise known as the Breaking Bad set. Seriously, you can copy and paste them into Google Maps. And finally, probably one of the craziest things that I've heard about this movie so far, Samuel L. Jackson, otherwise known as Nick Fury from the Avengers, attempted to get a cameo in the series. Samuel L. Jackson is a big fan of the show, and he was filming the Avengers just near the Breaking Bad set, literally just around the corner. So, naturally, he wanted to turn up in Los Bolos Hermanos with his flowing black jacket and eye patch and order some fried chicken. You know, just like you do, been Nick Fury. It wasn't to be, however. Different versions of the story play out in different ways. Some, Vince Gilligan refused the cameo. In others, Jackson just decided to turn up at the set one day, but there wasn't enough time or room to fit him in. So that, my friends, is the top 10 or 9 or 11 or whatever how many things I just said then, because I can't keep going, in Breaking Bad that you might have not have known about while you're watching while you're watching the series. I know this is pretty old now because Breaking Bad like, ended ages ago apparently. Like I've only just started watching it. Well no, I started watching it like three months ago. I've just got to the end of season five. Really like Breaking Bad. Like if you've not seen it and you're watching this video then you know I probably just given away a shit ton of spoilers so I'm really sorry about that. Go and watch it now because it's such a good series. Uh, along with Walking Dead as well I might do another video on Walking Dead pretty soon so subscribe now and you will see uh, more little walking dead facts and secrets and easter eggs that you might not know uh, so once again, thank you everyone for watching. If you haven't followed me on Twitter yet, go ahead and do that now. Uh, there's a link down below in the description or you can click that annotation right there. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys very, very soon.